Today, we're going to take a little look around downtown Cleveland, Ohio. But first, let's stop for a Slurpee on a warm day, because Slurpees are awesome. I was just thinking, whoever invented the Slurpee, I'd like to shake that man's hand. But then I thought, nah, it's probably wet and sticky. So, I'll just say thank you. One thing that's kind of cool about the Cleveland trains is they've got music playing at every station. So, it's kind of cool. We are going down to the red line. Downtown Cleveland coming into view. Well, the weather's clearing up, so that's kind of nice. Cleveland has had its share of famous residents. It's also famous for its baseball team, the Guardians, which for a long time was known as the Indians, up until recently. Also the Cleveland Cavaliers basketball team, and the Cleveland Browns football team. And of course the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was located here. Today was a day game, unfortunately, so I just missed the Cleveland Guardians game but I'll head over and check out the outside of the baseball stadium anyway. The game just got over, so these guys are gathering at the bar after the game. And here is Progressive Field, home to the Cleveland Guardians, shortly after the game ended. Here's a few statues honoring their World Series championship years and a number of the Cleveland Indians legendary players. Filler. That's a great American right there. Quit his job as a star baseball player to enroll in World War II. Enlist, I should say. I know what I'm saying, enroll, but yeah, enlist. Good, good bro. Man that came up with the Ted Williams shift.
So unfortunately, I didn't make it on time to see a game today, but we did get to see some concession stand workers, so there's the next best thing. And right across the street is Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, where the Cleveland Cavaliers NBA team plays. One more look back at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. And now we're headed to Cleveland Public Square to see its big monument to Civil War veterans called the Soldiers and Sailors Monument. And here is the Soldiers and Sailors Monument, which was dedicated on July 4th, 1894. It was built to honor the more than 9,000 servicemen from Cuyahoga County who served the Union throughout the Civil War. This is Cleveland Public Square. County Sailors and Soldiers, excuse me, Soldiers and Sailors Monument. Now we'll continue walking north towards Lake Erie, one of the Great Lakes, and towards the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Notice the street sign as we pass by. Rock and Roll Boulevard.
And here is Lake Erie. And this here is the USS Cod submarine, a World War II era submarine that is now a memorial docked in Cleveland that you can take tours of. And you'll see tourists on it right now. Behind it, you can hear and see Burke Lakefront Airport, which is located right on the shores of Lake Erie. And now, just a block or so away, is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And that's where we're headed to now. But we will save that for the next video. So tune in next time to check out the inside of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland.